Praise the Lord, everyone. God bless you today as we join together again for morning prayer and devotion on this Thursday, December the 1st. Folks, it is getting real. We are in uh, the month, just uh, 20 some odd days until Christmas, and uh, we have our uh, Christmas show coming up just 10 days away. Unbelievable how quickly everything's coming together now. So this is a big month, and um, what a pleasure to be able to celebrate the Lord's birth with each of you uh, throughout this month. We'll be talking some about it today in our devotion. Uh, we want to go right into our prayer needs this morning. We do have much to pray about, and this morning let's start out with our request and our spiritual needs, our family needs. Let's remember to pray for Jennifer and Brenda's family, Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, Sister Pam Pulliam's family, Debbie Biddick's family, the Sappingtons, Marcia and Britt Moore and their family. And let's continue praying for their son, Josh. Uh, his court date did go well. We're thankful for that. Let's keep lifting him up in our prayers. Jenny Perkins, Sister Lisa, needs prayers for mental, emotional, and spiritual needs. Rebecca Williams' mother, Dana, needs our prayers. Annette and Dave, J.R. Johnson, a, a young lady that Johnny's been inviting to church, uh, Johnny's brother dealing with, I believe, alcoholism, needs our continued prayers. Uh, we need to pray for Regina Marlin's family. This is, includes Aubrey Johnson, Loren Johnson, Tyler Johnson, and Charles Gossett. We're praying for Charles to be delivered from addiction. Ashley Johnson needs deliverance from drug addiction. Dawson needs deliverance from drugs and healing of mental health issues. William Davies battling alcoholism. His wife, Pam, needs strength to be able to take care of him uh, due to related health issues. Uh, baby G's adoption proceedings have been ongoing. Let's continue praying for Judy Johnson's grandson, Holden, and for Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter, Amber. Also for Jean, who needs to find his way to God. Our Mingo RCF residents will be having my bingo in a Bible study with them today. Uh, our Job Corps students and alumni need continued prayers, and we're praying for Grace's best friends, family for wholeness and peace in their relationships, as well as lifting up Johnny's family again this morning. Carmen's family friend John uh, or Johnny needs a good job quickly. We want to pray for God to open doors in that situation. Kristen's special and spoken need remains on our hearts today. We also are continuing to pray for Judy and Mike Williams' daughter, Jennifer, and family. Uh, Judy and Mike's grandson, Andrew, is in the military. He's been deployed to Romania. Let's remember him in our prayers today. Let's pray for that region of the world and for our missionaries in Ukraine, that God would protect them and that this uh, war would end very, very soon. Um, we have missionaries, of course, all over the world in most nations, Let's remember them today in our prayers. Our North American missionaries as well need your prayers. I'm asking you this morning to lift up um, career church planner and Metro missionary Tim Richmond, who will be coming to the Missouri district very soon. And uh, I've been tasked with filling up his uh, schedule in February and March while he's here in the district. So let's pray for good success there and during his deputation as he has quite a uh, large order on his plate, and that is um, teaming with uh, the district he's from, Detroit metro area, to uh, plant 16 new works over the course of the next several years. So we're looking forward to partnering with him and praying God's blessings on that ministry today. We need to pray for peace and comfort for uh, Pastor Jordan Booker and his family as his grandmother passed away, we need to continue to lift up Pastor Del Holman and his family as they grieve the loss of his mother. We're praying for miraculous peace for Maxine's family. Today, we're praying for those on hospice care, Sharon Downing. Lee is on hospice care, and it appears the time is very close. His wife, Rose, the rest of the family needing our prayers again today. In our health needs today, we have Johnny and Terry Nelson, Shirley Perkins, Mike and Tony Hodge, Chloe Isaac, Judy Williams' brother, Gary Nelson, Devin Huff, 
Shirley Garner and Wilda Morrison, all in need of prayer for various health situations. Children who need our prayers include Tano Lopez, Baby G, Sophia, Abby Young, Gus Sappington's grandson, Brantley and Elsie, Arlo, Madison, Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker, who are battling childhood cancer, Abram Page with GNL1 disorder, Bailey May, uh, who is losing her hearing, and Abel Ray, a child suffering from PKU syndrome. We're praying for a good report for Chad Jones. He's going back to the doctors on the 5th and the 8th of this month, and we're praying that all goes well there. Aubrey Matthews needs prayer for issues with pregnancy complications. Sister Mara Sullivan, pastor's wife in New Haven, uh, Missouri, needs our prayers as she's dealing with lupus and autoimmune cerebritis. Ginger Williams needs continued prayers due to hernia and diverticulitis. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're praying for continued recovery for my aunt, Virginia Pride, who just finished another round of chemo recently. Seth, who has had surgery on his hand. We're praying for him to regain the feeling in his fingers for the skin to grow back properly. Darla Crane had a brain tumor removal, um, I believe, last week or maybe the end of the week before. Uh, Grady is recovering from a bike accident and diabetic issues. Jeff Anglin recovering from multiple injuries in a car accident. My aunt, Bella Bryant, recovering from knee surgery. Sheila Sappington, Johnny's nephew, Joey, Tina's mother, Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon, Evangelist Billy Huey, all needing prayers for continued recovery from stroke. Carmen's sister, Tracy, Riley March, Marty DeLotte, and Sarah Stroop need healing of MS. Michael Parrott has Crohn's disease. Others with chronic stomach issues include Heather Spence, Regina's granddaughter, Aubrey, Olivia, and Kristen's neighbor, Natalie. Let's keep praying for Carmen's neighbor, Eddie. He's been battling infection in his body with recurrent UTIs. Several with migraines, Marsha's co-worker son, Marsha herself, Beth Wheatley, Johnny Nelson, and Melinda Cummins. Vivian, Kristen's friend's dad, and Johnny Nelson's mom need the Lord to touch their mind today as they suffer with dementia. Cheryl Chance has a family member with ongoing issues caused by a past head injury. This is also the situation for Sue Helton Morse's brother. Those with heart issues include Pastor Gil Beecher, Kimmy Prenzel, Janie Parrott's nephew Blaine, Pastor Mark Morris, Pastor Doyle Mitchell, Amy D, Michelle Strain's mother, Lynn Laycock, Sister Patty Arnold, Jimmy Warren, Cheryl LaChance, Joey Fisk, Carmen's friend Sean, and Mike Sappington, who is on the waiting list right now for a heart transplant. Those with Parkinson's, uh, Carmen's dad, Russ, he also has cataracts on both eyes, and surgery is upcoming for that. My dad, Tim Workman, Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, Joey Etheridge, my mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler, and Kristen's friend, Matt, also needing prayers in their battles with Parkinson's. Those dealing with cancer, Diane Escher, Cheryl Sawyer, Michael Bolin, Christy Smith, a lady here in Puxico with stage four metastatic breast cancer, Tony Nelson, Teresa's mother, Marsha Moore's friend's grandparents and Marsha's co-worker's brother, um, Alicia Piero, if I didn't mention Tony and Cindy, uh, they need prayers as well, Carmen's cousin Amanda, Alice Elizabeth, Claire, Dwayne Lewis, Ari Bowers, Kristen's friend Betty, Scott Lucia, Sherry, Dennis Phelps, Joni Jones, Venus's niece Heather, Linda Fox, and of course Darla Crane who just had the tumor removal. We're praying for Anthony Williams, Michael Williams, Emily Stanley, Evie, Rose Brown, Christian Carr, Titus Dornbach, Becca and her mother Christina, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, J.R. Johnson, Jimmy Warren, Brother Pulliam, Cheryl LaChance, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Tim Workman, and myself all battling with diabetes. Kristen's friend Mike had a pulmonary embolism with multiple blood clots and suffered a small stroke due to this. We're praying for full recovery and that there will be no more blood clots. Kendra Ortiz and Robbie Northrup need healing of chronic lung conditions. 
pray for Carmen's brother George, who's been in and out of the hospital several times with uh, issues with his lungs. We're praying for complete clearing, healing, and restored functions for him. Uh, Caroline Sexton has been battling pneumonia. Uh, Chris Ramey needs healing of her knees so that she can walk again. Renee has mobility issues also. This is caused by problems with her hips and knees. Rose Brown and June Coffer need healing of arthritis. Becky Wilson, Melania Cummins, Carolyn Rogers, Lori Gravel, Michael Parrott, Brianna Williams, Pam's daughter Jenny, Cindy Page, Britt Moore, Terry Nelson, and Bob O all suffer with back pain, as does Tammy Lawson. And Tammy is scheduled for surgery on her back on December the 21st. She also is currently dealing with chronic acute bronchitis, and this needs to be cleared up by December the 9th. She has a pre-op appointment for her back surgery then. We ask that you continue to pray for Anthony Sifford. Uh, after making much progress, he did have a rough day yesterday with his respirations and heart rate both being elevated. Thankfully, this corrected shortly after 7 p.m. when I don't believe coincidentally, several churches were binding together in prayer for him in that hour. So we pray for continued improvement and for demonstrable improvement on the CAT scan that they were doing late last night. So many things to pray about, and I'm so glad that we have a God who hears and answers our prayers. I want to welcome each of you who are with us this morning. Um, Marcia, good to see you. Pam, we need to add uh, Jenny to the list this morning for um, need for prayer because she's been sick the past week. Uh, Kristen is sending up praise this morning for answers to her unspoken need. Uh, one wonderful victory report, and we welcome you this morning, Kristen. Good to see Johnny this morning. He's asking for prayer for Clint, who has internal bleeding. Uh, good morning to you, Terry and Sherman and Judy. And, um, yes, Marcia, who I've already mentioned, thank God for each of you today. Looking forward to praying with all of you here in just a few moments. I want to read to you this morning from Psalm 135 for our devotion. Psalm 135, we're going to read just two verses there, um, verses 13 and 14. It says, Your name, O Lord, endures forever your fame O lord throughout all generations for the lord will judge his people and he will have compassion on his servants as i mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast this morning december is the month that we celebrate the birth of jesus christ the king of the world who came to save people from their sins he invites everyone to be saved through the new birth experience. It's not his will that any should perish, but that all would have everlasting life. Once we are born again, we are called to serve our King by participating in his ongoing mission of seeking and saving those who are lost. We are commissioned to win souls and to make disciples. Psalm 135 and 14 states that God will judge his people. Matthew 25 verse 14 and 30 gives us a further context as to how God will judge us. Regardless of how many resources that we have, we are all called to serve our King. God is pleased when we use his blessings that he has given to us to win souls and to make disciples. On the other hand, he is unhappy when we waste what he has given as the parable of the unprofitable servant shows us very clearly. The scripture is clear that God will judge us according to our efforts. And during this Christmas season, let's remember why that Jesus came. And let's use our talents to advance his kingdom. That's my prayer as we start this brand new month. And this month in which we celebrate the gift that has continued to give throughout Gener every generation and that we are blessed today by that same gift of God himself coming into this world and bringing our deliverance from sin. Lord Jesus, I thank you this morning. I thank you, Lord, for coming to this world. I thank you for saving me from my sins. I thank you, Lord, for
for your goodness in my life. And I want to be careful, Lord, to remember your blessings in my life and to show my appreciation by using the talents that you have given me to advance your kingdom in this earth. You truly are the King of all kings and the Lord of our lords, and we are privileged to be your servants today and to work in your kingdom. Lord, when I stand before your judgment seat, I want to hear you say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And Lord, I know that every prayer warrior is intent on that same goal today. We want to live our lives for you daily, Lord, that we can bow before you, not in shame, but with thankful hearts for how you've been able to use our lives. Use us today as we pray, God, that your name would be glorified in this earth and that people's needs would be met. And we come in your mighty name right now asking you, God, to move in our families, move among our friends and loved ones today. You see every need that's going on right now in Johnny's family, for Grace's best friend's family, our Job Corps students and alumni, our Mingo RCF residents. We're praying for Beulah's granddaughter, Amber, and for Judy's granddaughter, Holden. We pray for baby G's adoption proceedings. We lift up William Davies battling with alcohol addiction and health issues. We pray for his wife, Pam, Lord, who's his caregiver, that you would strengthen her. We lift up Dawson believing for healing of mental health problems and deliverance from drug addiction. We pray for Ashley Johnson, Lord, that she would receive deliverance today as well. Charles Gossett needing deliverance this morning. We pray for Regina Marlin's family, Aubrey and Lorraine and Tyler, God, that you would move in their lives today. We pray for Johnny's brother to turn to you in his battle. We pray, God, for this young lady that Johnny's been inviting to church. We lift up Dana Vasquez today and Lynette and Dave and J.R. Johnson. Lord, move in their lives. We pray for Jenny's sister, Lisa, today. Lord, move in her mental, emotional, and spiritual needs. We pray, God, for the Sappington family, for Marcia and Britt's family. For their son, Josh, today, God, that you would continue your work in him. We pray for the Sappington family, for Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families, believing for their salvation. We lift up Mark and Caitlin and Matt and Michaela. We pray for Pam's family. We pray for Jennifer and Brenda's family today, God. Move, we pray, according to your divine purpose. Hallelujah. We give you glory today. We thank you for meeting these family needs today. Lord, you see the unspoken need for uh, Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer, and her family. We pray you would move in that situation. We thank you for moving in Kristen's unspoken need. We pray for Carmen's family friend, Johnny. God, that he would be able to find a good job quickly. We pray for you to open doors in that situation. Hallelujah. We pray for Judy and Mike's grandson, Andrew, that you would protect him and the other military station in Romania and in the nation surrounding Ukraine. We pray for our missionaries and for the citizens of Ukraine, God, that you would protect them and protect the citizens of Russia, God, that have been drawn into this conflict. We pray, God, that you would bless our North American missionaries today. We focus today on the Brother Tim Richmond as he's uh, embarking on this challenging effort to raise up 16 new works in the Detroit metro area. Bless his efforts, God and bless his time and his scheduling here within our district. We pray, God, for peace and comfort for Pastor Jordan Booker and his family as they mourn the loss of his grandmother. We pray for Pastor Del Holman, God, that you would continue to comfort him and his family as they're grieving the loss of his mother. Comfort Maxine's family today in Jesus' name. Lord, be with these that are on hospice care. Lee's family needs your strength today. Touch Rose, Lord. Touch Lee and the rest of that family. We pray for Sharon Downing, God, that you would move in her situation and comfort the hearts of her family today. We pray for Johnny and Terry, for Shirley Perkins, for Gary Nelson and for Chloe, for Mike and Tony, for Judy's brother, for Wilda, for Shirley and for Devin today, for healing of their health problems. We pray for Clint today, Lord, for this internal bleeding to be brought under control. We pray for Pam's daughter, Jenny, today, who's battling sickness. We lift up, Lord, these children in need of prayer today. You've heard their names that we've called out day after day. And we're trusting you, God, to move in their lives and bring an end to their affliction. Oh, we trust in the stripes that you took for our healing and in the promise of your word 
Lord, that you would not put on us more than we can be able to bear, and that you will provide an escape from every temptation. Oh, God, we pray, Lord, for those who are tempted today just simply to give up, that they would be encouraged and they would, that they would be strengthened today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Chad Jones today. We're believing for a good report as he goes back to the doctors next week. We pray for Aubrey today, Lord, for victory over these complications in her pregnancy. We lift up Mara Sullivan praying for healing of lupus and autoimmune cerebritis, for Ginger Williams believing for healing of this hernia and this diverticulitis. Lord, those who are in need of continued recovery today, we believe once again on their behalf. We pray for Tracy and Sarah, for Riley and Marty needing healing of MS this morning. We pray, God, for Michael Parrott with uh, Crohn's disease and others who are suffering from stomach issues, God, that they would receive their healing. Touch Eddie this morning, Lord. We pray against that infection in his body. We pray for those battling with migraines and with dementia and with chronic problems from head injuries. We lift up those who are suffering with heart issues today. Touch these pastors, Lord, who have heart problems today. Pastor Beecher and Pastor Morris and Pastor Doyle Mitchell, God, reach down and touch them, we pray. We pray for Janie's nephew, Blaine, and for Kenny Prenzel, for Amy D., for Michelle Strain's mother, for Lynn Laycock, and for uh, Jimmy Warren, for Sister Patty Arnold, for Cheryl Lachance, for Joyce Fisk, for Carmen's friend, Sean, and for Mike Sappington. We believe for healing of every heart issue. We believe for healing of Parkinson's disease today, for Russ, for my dad, for Tim Workman, for Vivian, for Joey Etheridge, for Kristen's friend Matt, and for my mother-in-law Beulah today, God, you are the healer, you are the mighty God, and hallelujah, hallelujah, we trust in you today, believing you, God, for peace and strength and help in these situations, those that are battling cancer need you today, God, we lift up Diane, we pray for Cheryl as she's uh, struggling to overcome this uh, tumor situation and the removal surgery that she's had and the complications that she's experienced. We pray for Sawyer, for Michael, for the lady here in Puxico who's battling with stage four metastatic breast cancer. We lift up Christy Smith. We pray for Marcia's friends, grandparents, and Marcia's co-worker's brother. We pray for Teresa's mother, for Tony, for Cindy, for Alicia, for Amanda. We pray for Allison, for Claire, for Dwayne Lewis and Ari Bowers, for Kristen's friend Betty, for Scott Lucia. We lift up Sherry and Dennis and Heather and Joni today. We pray for Linda Fox and Darla Crane. God, we believe for cancer-free diagnoses now. We believe, God, for complete healing. We pray against diabetes in the name of Jesus. We claim good A1C scores in your name. We claim, Lord, good random blood sugars, steadiness, Lord, in the um, in the pancreas today, God, we pray for Christian's friend Mike, believing for healing of his body after this pulmonary embolism and stroke. We pray against any future blood clots that would form in the name of Jesus. We pray for Kendra and Robbie and for Carmen's brother George, believing for healing of the lungs. For Caroline today, God, believing for healing of pneumonia. We lift up Chris and Renee, believing for healing of these mobility problems. We pray for Rose in June today. We believe you for healing of arthritis, for healing of back pain, for Becky and Carolyn, for Melena and Lori, for Michael and Brianna, for Jenny and Cindy and Britt, for Terry and for Bob, and for Tammy Lawson. God, we're believing for her chronic acute bronchitis to be brought under control, that she would be able to keep this pre-op appointment and have the necessary surgery that is scheduled on the 21st of this month. We pray for Anthony Sifford again this morning, God. We believe, Lord, for your help for him, for his wife, for his family today. God, we pray that they would be able to regulate his temperature and his respiratory rate, his heart rate. And we pray, God, that his body would have the strength to heal. Lord, bring healing, God, to any injury that's been caused to any limbs or to his brain or to anything affected by the stroke. In the name of Jesus, we believe, God, for complete restoration. With your stripes, we are healed. And we thank you that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are the miracle worker. 
And we give you praise and glory for it all this morning. Let's just lift up the name of the Lord. And let's thank him for hearing our prayers today. God, we thank you. We thank you, God. We're dependent upon you today. And we thank you for your love and your care for us. Amen. Amen. God bless you today. Uh, what a powerful time of prayer. A powerful time in God's presence today. Go encouraged and knowing that God is with you throughout this day. Let's be used of the Lord. Let's use our gifts that he has placed in our life to minister to others. And I will see you tomorrow morning for our final prayer time together for this week uh, right here at 730 a.m. on Facebook Live. God bless you.